Dear Diary, They say friends are the family we choose, which by implication means our family is the family we don't choose. If you're wondering why I'm stating something that obvious, wait until you meet my father. That's him. He is death. And I don't mean that like in he's dead serious or he bores me to death. No, he literally is death, ruler over the underworld, reaping the souls of the living after they pass away. Well, that alone wouldn't be much of a problem. I mean, other children have cruel parents as well. Parents who are tax officers, lawyers, or even teachers. My problem is, for days, I've been dreaming of this human boy crying out for me. I don't know him, but I have the strong feeling that I have to come and help him. However, father would never, ever allow me to travel to the land of the living because he's practically afraid of everything I want to do. I'm not to play basketball since I might get a splinter in my finger. I must not go into the forbidden forest because, quote, an unimaginable evil lives there, unquote. And the land of the living, you might guess it, is a no-go as well. Don't get me wrong. I usually do what father tells me, but not this time. This time, I'm going to find a way to escape. The catch? We've just had a big fight. And eventually, Father grounded me and locked me up inside my room. So I have to find a way to get out of here first. Maybe I should start searching by examining the strange box by the window that just happened to pop up out of nowhere. Baby, I'm much too old for rocking horses. And I don't fit into the saddle anymore. Not that I tried. Hmm, what now? A box? How in Hades' name did this get here? What kind of beastie are you? Hmm, huh. seems like a shy little fellow. Just wait, I'm going to get you. <sighs> Father says, in contrast to common belief, only Vampire X can keep vampires away, whereas Garlic only drives off the people you love. On the tag, it says, Warning, may irritate the eyes. I can't reach it. Ugh. Seems like Father brought a souvenir from one of his last reapings. Very oily. It's much too small. For me? That might come in handy. Oh, no time for redecoration. What should I do with it? Put it in my wallet? It's much too big for that. And I don't have a wallet. I got no time to read it now, but I'm going to write about my heroic deeds later. I gave up using blankets to play ghosts years ago. The real dead are so easily offended. It won't move. Seems like the wheel it is attached to is too rusty. I really can't move it. 
father would literally kill me if I scratched the floor. I have no idea what to look up. Just look at all these beautiful glowing lights inside the jar. Father gave them to me as a death day present. He says they're called hotspots, whatever that means. There is some sticky sweet mucus at the bottom. Probably it has been used to attract the fireflies. Father locked it from outside. That doesn't make sense. I don't want to do this. Great idea. The skeleton arm serves as an extension for the scythe. Now, I just need something to use my new invention with. I don't see a reason why I should do this. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'd love to free the glowing thingies, but I can't get the lid off. My palms are too sweaty. I'd go and ask father, but it probably isn't the best time now. Limby, I need a hand here. Oh, <laughs> it worked. Fly, little hotspots. Your time in captivity is over. Oh. They don't leave. They want to stay with me, their savior, so we can go on adventures together. Okay. don't want to do this. Nope. I don't want to do this. That doesn't make sense. I don't see a reason why I should do this. I don't want to hurt the little guy. I should concentrate on cutting the cobweb thread. I won't be able to lure it to come down with this. It doesn't seem to be interested in sticky sweet slime. It will never reach far enough to get the keys. Limby's not very good at lock picking. That doesn't make sense. I still can't reach it. I won't be able to lure it to come down with this. I don't want to do this. Nope. I hope this doesn't hurt too bad. I still can't reach it. I won't be able to lure it to come down with this. Nope. I don't want to hurt the little guy. I should concentrate on cutting the cobweb thread. Good idea, but the little guy escapes to the ceiling as soon as I get close. If I could only distract him somehow. I hope this doesn't hurt too bad.
stay here. Hey! Hey! Where are you going? <sighs> and it's gone again. <laughs> Why do I have the feeling that it's making fun of me? Good idea, but I can't reach it. Other girls have walk-in closets. I've got a two-story walk-on bookshelf. Hooray. That doesn't make sense. Maybe if I place this in here, my spidery friend will get stuck in the sweet mucus at the bottom. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Oh, it won't move. Seems like the wheel it is attached to is too rusty. I really can't move it. Father would literally kill me if I scratched the floor. I have no idea what to look up. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Nope. I don't see a reason why I should do this. 